Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Angel Baby. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I live with my parents for like, at least another 11 months. Unfortunately, we can't live together because I'm on parole. So I can go sleep at his apartment um, for a few nights. You guys, I don't know why Miss Jip Jip all of a sudden is so concerned about her parole when it comes to staying with Ken. Like, come on, we're not crazy. We know that you've been staying over there longer than what you're supposed to have been staying over there. Not just that, Miss Jip Jip. You've been doing a lot of other stuff, too, that you have no business doing. Like, allegedly meeting up with your criminal friends or talking to them. Like, allegedly profiting off your crime, which is the son of Sam Law. And you are not supposed to be doing that, ma'am. Now, the son of Sam Law is named after this guy here, David Berkowitz. He was a serial unaliver who terrorized people in New York in the 70s, and he called himself Son of Sam. Now, when David was arrested, many people speculated that he would sell the rights to his story, which led to the New York legislator passing an executive law, Section 632-A, in 1977, and the law was called Son of Sam. Now, with the Son of Sam law, what this does is it prohibits convicts from profiting from their crimes, including selling their stories to writers or filmmakers. And it also allows prosecutors to seize any royalties that are earned by these criminals and place it under an escrow account. And that would basically go to the victims of the crimes. So that's basically what Gypsy is being accused of. Because she is basically profiting off of um, her crimes, in my opinion. Because basically, um, she's got the docu-series. She's writing books. You know what I'm saying? She's talking about things that will tie to the crime. So you're basically profiting off your crime. Now, like I said, these funds that are being made um, by Gypsy... They could be seized by her family members if they really wanted to. You know, if they really wanted to take it there, they could sue Gypsy. But obviously, I really don't think that they care, in my opinion. Because, y'all, it's being said that nobody even wanted Dee Dee's ashes. They allegedly flushed her ashes down the toilet. And even when Gypsy had to sit down with her cousin Bobby which is also Dee Dee's first cousin, I believe. He didn't seem to have a problem with um, Gypsy. I mean, he's doing tattoos for her and Ryan and Ken, and they just seem to be one big happy family. And now uh, Bobby knew Dee Dee when she was younger, so they grew up together. And he seems cool with Gypsy, so I really don't think that the family will be suing Gypsy for any of these royalties. But all in all, it is being alleged that Gypsy has actually been busted for violation of her probation. So it seems as if, you know, you guys being concerned about what's been going on with Gypsy and the things that she's been doing out here may be getting to her parole officer. So Gypsy, she may be having that baby in jail, y'all. And you guys, you know what would be crazy? If Gypsy has that baby in jail, guess who's going to get that baby? Ryan. I believe that Ryan will get that baby. Why? Because his name will be on that birth certificate and he will be presumed to be the father since they are still married. Now that would be crazy. But a lot of people will definitely see it as karma. Absolute karma. Now, what's being alleged that they might be getting her on is the communication that she's been having with people in prison and people who have been in prison. And that is a direct violation. Like, just like I said in the past, you are not supposed to be communicating with other criminals. Like, your parole officer does not want you guys sitting around coming up with plans to commit more crimes together. Like, that is prohibited. And Gypsy should have known better than to get on this internet and try to advocate for Amelia Bird. 
I mean, you didn't think that was going to piss people off? You didn't think that people were going to be ringing that P.O.'s phone off the hook? Now, it is being alleged that Gypsy was communicating with at least two to three people. Okay, these inmates. Now, what they're saying is that Gypsy would allegedly use Ryan's phone for communication so that way it can be detected or traced. I'm like, dang, you still got Ryan's phone, girl? She need to give that phone back. Now, as far as who has been reporting Gypsy, I'm pretty sure it's some of everybody. Some of everybody that has a vendetta against her. And the thing is, is that they're probably saying the same thing and mentioning the same people. So now, you know, the Missouri probation or parole, they have no choice but to take this seriously. Now, I don't know if Gypsy doesn't understand, fully understand the conditions of her parole or if she just doesn't care. Now, in my opinion, I feel like maybe Katie Joy is the one who probably called the parole, you know, over and over. That's like really breaking it down to the parole officer. Like, look, I used to be your friend and I've seen this, I've seen that. You know, that wouldn't surprise me and the fact considering that the article is coming off of her Instagram, okay? But she is alleging that she didn't call and she doesn't know who called. But there was a lot of people in her comment section that were not happy with her. They're basically like, leave Gypsy alone. That's a silly reason for her to go back to prison. But whatever the case may be and whoever is doing the calling, I can just see this is not gonna end well. They're going to keep calling and calling until they get this girl locked back up. But to be honest, Gypsy, she can't blame anyone but herself. She put herself in this situation. I mean, she was involved with the unenlivening of her mother. And this girl was lucky enough to serve only eight years. Considering the fact that a lot of people feel like she should have did a lot more time. Then she gets out. She gets online and all hell breaks loose. I feel like all of this can just be settled if Gypsy just give up the social media. At least until her probation is up. That would be the smartest thing to do. Because it damn sure should not be worth your freedom and it should not be worth you having your baby in prison or jail. Like why would you want to have your baby in prison? And guys, in my opinion, the only thing that this really shows me here is that Gypsy will do anything for attention. She will do anything for attention. And she damn sure is getting a lot of it on social media. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinion on the whole situation. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, guys.